she was telling me any, uh, Kulu is like anything like like big. Yes, Kulumani. Yes. Speak out straight down. So this is just to show just a little bit of the upper class of Soweto. This is the one that they built it in the late 80s. And the first B&B was built here, bed and breakfast. Because oh, okay. we've got plenty of bed and breakfast in Soweto. And this we've is where got the black people live? They got yes, this is where the black people are living. Okay. Yes. It's called Deep Cliff Extension. Oh, but people, they call it Deep Cliff Extension, straight up. Deep Cliff Yeah, Deep Cliff Expensive. Deep -cliff. These wires that you see there, they're just there but they are not working. <laughs> so this is one of the government schools on the left-hand side in Dipkov Extension. We're just gonna drive around just to show you the upper class of Soweto. This was built in the late 80s. Do any whites live here? We don't have more whites around here. It's only Ooh, the black. Yes. Black Eka community God. is in this area. <laughs> oh, you want me to come? So make sure all, everyone can hear you in the back. Put it to that back home. Yeah, all the Is the heater on? Or is the AC? The easy one. Just a little bit. Left, yeah? So these are some beautiful homes. Yes, these are the beautiful homes of Soweto Deep Cliff Extension. As I've said it earlier, that Soweto is divided into three. We've got the lower part of Soweto. The upper class of Soweto oh, like and the middle class of Soweto. So this is the upper class that was built in the late ages. And this is where you'll find the first B and B, the bed and breakfast. Can I ask a question? Yes, ma'am. If you're an upper class, are you independently wealthy or do you have a job? You both of them. So there are people that can work a job that can live this life? They can live this life is because of those they had opportunities to go to school and most of them others that are coming from exile. So by the time when they come here they had some money but that time of an apartheid they could not stay in the suburb. So that's These people that live here don't work every day? They work every day. What kind of job would that be? Uh, it depends. Others are where government employees. So a government employee can live this life? They can live this life and then we turn right. No, she said now she said a government employee can live this life. I was trying to figure out if this no, is uh, a. No, she said some people that were in exile. Yeah, they came back. Because you know, like when you say upper class, some people, those are people sometimes are independently wealthy. They don't go to work mm. for a person. She said a government employee could earn. No, I don't, I don't yeah, most of traffic cops. Like, traffic cops can live here. Yes, traffic cops can live here. Yeah, even <laughs> even nurses around here yeah, that are listening. Okay, yes. Doctors, yes, that are working in the the biggest hospital, which okay. is Paraguay. So, do you have any idea the cost of these homes? These houses they start from 450 to 2 million, because you can see how beautiful these. More others they do have poor uh, swimming pool. Yes, but she said 450 grand. That's what I'm saying. A government employee. So civil servant. Okay. A civil servant. Oh no. That's pretty good. That's why I wanted to know, like, what, it, what you know, what, what is your job title? That's right. You live here. You here, civil servant? Yeah. And business people that are running no, businesses around. I definitely around. know business people. Traffic cop. Traffic cop. Yeah. Yeah, because they are. But that's because nobody tips them. <laughs> <laughs> He's a tipper. Yeah, that, that, that's how they get the side money. What do you see here on the left hand side, ladies and gentlemen? Not the colorful houses that you see there. But the ones at the back there, this is Deep Cliff Hostel. These are the dormitories. They built in the early 50s. That one at the back there, that they look like a train. They're very straight. The colorful ones are the ones that the government provided for the people around here for free. Especially those who are unemployed and the people who are over 60 years. We can go turn a left. So these, uh, the hostel they built only for the men who were working in the mine. No woman was allowed to come and stay here because these hostels, they built them just like a train. So it's one room, you'll find it's plus minus 10 male, sorry, male that are living in that house. So the people that are living here, they do have chief. We do have ward councillors, but they're straight up. 
we'll go closer to the it so that you can see it deep to forestal. So these colorful ones, the government say we're gonna give you these houses for family units. Then they refuse them because they, they said to them, if you're gonna live here, you need to buy water and electricity. So the people there, especially the Zulus are the one that were living here, then they saying that no, you know the unemployed rate is very high here. How can I buy water and electricity while there is no food inside? So these are the ones that are still not occupied by the people that are living. Yeah, they thinking they it's better to live in the old building that side at the hostel. So wait a minute, excuse me. So you're saying that these are empty? Yes. And the people live behind them? Okay. Yes. Because they were like, if I move out, I gotta pay these bills. Pay these bills, yeah. Okay. What's up with the trash? Yeah. There's so much uh, uh, problems around here, especially with the load shedding. Lo uh, what did you say in your life? Uh, rolling blackouts. Yeah, yeah, the blackouts, the rolling blackouts. So people are getting strikes every day around here. That is why you see a lot of trashes around here in the area. So this is the original of the hostel. Can you see that on the left hand side? So people are still there and people they, are still living there. And they refuse that. They refuse those ones. Because this one has no bill. Yes, this one there's no bill. And they think these one are much better than those ones down there. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. So if you see here this is the community tap on your oh, left. The, the tap. The tap the water. Yeah. That's really there's so many systems here. If you live somewhere with a piece of land, yeah. they ask you. So the area that we're in, we're still in deep close. But I'm saying, even people with a project made something. No, they didn't. When they started actually entering um, New York City, when they started putting electric meters, they was going to lose their mind. Because the project used to have no electric bill at oh, all. Oh, yeah. That's oh, what yeah. I meant. Uh -huh. But yeah, but what I'm saying is, like, if you're used to living off the land, And then the first left, you don't turn. The second left, you don't turn. There's a police event today. Oh, look, two, two of them. Two, two of them. 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 Two because you have to stay single. Yeah, left. Like a woman. So you got the ghost. So I guess that's maybe different. Because then maybe your mom can come and you can have immunity. Yeah. First of all, it's a Then we turn right. There's someone who owns them. The goat. Come and go. And the, and the pigs around here. Pigs are loose too? Yes. Nobody steals them? No. <laughs> Even the cows. They so there's cows no, there's someone who looks goats. after them. I know goats go home every day. They, they figure that out. Mm. You see that all the time. They know what it is. Can I ask a question about the pigs? Are pigs native to South America? Did you Are the pigs native? Are they native? Like, did you always have pigs here? Or did the Yes, we did have, have them. Yes, we do have. Because people, they eat the meat of a pig, of pork. She was yeah. saying that before colonialism. The no, pigs. there wasn't. Oh, they brought the pigs with Yes, them. they yeah. bought them. Yeah, I've heard that all the time. Yes, so there wasn't. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, this wall here, people of Soweto, they want some contribution so that you see from there, coming down here, they want to start first with the picture of Mama Willie up the road there. They want to do an artwork around here. All the freedom fighters that have stayed here in Soweto, not in the whole world, in the whole of South Africa. So they want to paint all this wall of the freedom fighters up until down the road there. So this is the biggest hospital on the left hand side in the southern hemisphere. It's called Baragranat Hospital. But after 1994, they call it Chris Ani because Chris was assassinated. He was the leader of the Communist Party. So this is the hospital. And then on the right hand side is the biggest taxi rank. This is where we're getting our public transport every day. It starts operating from 4 a.m. until 11 p.m. every day. With plus minus uh, 12,000 taxes like these, this is our buses that we get here. And this is where also you can get the taxes that will take you to our neighboring countries. Botswana, Swaziland, Maputo, Zimbabwe, 
and Lesotho. Uh, so they start from there up until down the road. And then on the left hand side, it's still the hospital. You'll see a brown building on the left hand side. This is the nurses' home for those who are training to be nurses. Are the government, does the government take care of the hospital bills for the people? Yes, they do. Okay. But the people now, they need to, for the times of administration, you need to pay a 50 rand if you are getting admitted. But everything is paid by the government. Okay. Yeah. Only the people that are getting, paying for, for healthy is those who are going to the private hospital. Okay. But the local, the government uh, clinics and the uh, hospital, you don't pay anything. It's just like school from grade R until grade 12, uh, you don't pay anything. Okay. It's only the public uh, schools and the private school where you pay. And then we do have school uniforms. As you were saying, they were asking yesterday, we do have school uniforms from primary to high school. So the primary kids, we're going to turn right then. Eh? The primary school, they're getting uniform for free from the government. And also, they also are giving them lunch and breakfast each and every day while schools are open. So we're going to turn right there. Yes, they do, yeah. I was asked. I was asked. I said, I'm sorry.